Hi, I'm Seth with Land the House. I was called out again for something that I said about a year ago, and I wanted to uh, test out this theory to see if I'm right or if I'm wrong. Definitely want to uh, live up to my mistakes if I've made one. So the thought is, I have my ram pump down in the creek, and it brings water up about 30 feet into the bottom of a storage tank. So it uh, just has a, a little valve and it feeds up through the tank. Uh, works fine and uh, seems to do everything that I need it to do. The question that's been brought up is, is it better to fill from the bottom or the top or does it make any difference? So let me show you the setup I've got. As usual, I have my three feet of head pressure with the hydrostatic pressure in the bucket coming down a three quarter inch drive pipe to a three quarter inch ram pump. And now here's where we're gonna be testing. I've got the delivery pipe going up this 12 foot ladder into a bucket. So the first test is gonna be a time on how long it takes the ram pump to fill from the top. As soon as it overflows, I'll stop the timer and then we will see uh, the next step will be to run the same delivery pipe to the bottom of the bucket as you can see right here. And we'll do the same thing. We'll time it and as soon as it overflows, we'll stop and see which one is better if there is a difference. So step one is to open the drive pipe. There we go. Got to pull all the air out of this thing. Now it's going to be important that I keep the same amount of head pressure and hydrostatic pressure for both tests. And so I've replaced my usual fill nozzle here with a, a straight pipe so I can really keep this going at full force here. So I'm going to try and keep this bucket as full as possible during this whole test for consistency's sake because the change in height in this bucket will also affect the output. So I'm going to try and keep it somewhere around that level throughout this whole test. Okay, make sure all the air is out of this thing. I think what I'm going to do is also make sure that the pump is primed and that the uh, delivery pipe is also good to go here. Pump is primed, delivery pipe is primed. Let's go ahead and get this thing going. All right, I'm gonna keep this bucket full over here. This test may take a while, but it's definitely filling up. Still keeping this bucket here close to the top. We're right at five minutes and 20 seconds so far. And it looks like we're at about halfway into the bucket. I'm not sure how well you'll be able to see from here. Let's head up here again and see what our progress looks like. Getting there, over halfway. So, and our time is seven and a half minutes. It's not too bad. I feel like it's getting really close now. Should we venture up there and risk getting wet? Let's find out. How close are we here? Okay, looks well, like maybe Two inches. All right. Time, 11.50. Should be getting really close now. We're at 14 and a half minutes. There we go. Nice. 
So the official time for test number one was 14 minutes and 45 seconds to fill this bucket from the top. So the next test, I'm gonna be connecting the same delivery pipe to the bottom of the bucket, and we're gonna run the same test again. Now before we do that, remember I have four different size ram pumps available at landahouse.com and on Amazon. If you have questions about pumps, you can email me at landahouse at gmail.com. Okay, let's go ahead and drain this bucket and start the next test. I'm using that side spout so I don't have to get totally wet on the ladder. While this bucket takes a while to drain out here, if you would hit the thumbs up button for this video and be sure to subscribe to the channel. I have uh, over 100 ram pump videos and then uh, over a thousand videos total on the channel. And uh, remember to hit the notification bell for uh, all the updates for videos. All right, back to watching this bucket pee. In test two, the only difference is that the delivery pipe now goes to the bottom of the bucket instead of up to the top. So this will really determine whether or not there is a time difference between filling from the bottom and filling from the top. So once again, I'm gonna start this, make sure it's going, open this and start the stopwatch. Okay, and we're going. In both tests, I'm making sure the water stays between the top and right here, and just making sure it's in that range back and forth. So, it should be pretty consistent. Okay, we just hit the three minute mark. Let's go check out our results so far. Looks like it's right past that first strap. Yeah, so making some decent progress in there. I've been working with the ram pump now close to six years and uh, I've learned a lot, but I never really have done a lot of research into the mathematics behind the pump. Uh, most of my learning has just been stepping outside and doing. Uh, so things like filling a bucket from the top versus the bottom, the way I understand it is that atmospheric pressure is one, basically, and it's pushing down on the earth uh, at a constant. So no matter if the uh, column of water is in a tiny tube going up to the top or if it were in a, uh, a stock tank or a bucket, for instance, it's uh, the same at any given point uh, because the atmospheric pressure builds at the same rate. Um, that's the way I understand it. I don't know the math behind it. So, uh, it should be the same no matter if we fill this bucket up from the top or from the bottom. It has the same pressure on, uh, on both. So, in other words, oops, sometimes the water pressure of adding that stops the pump. There we go. Okay. That happened twice on the other one. So we may have lost like two or three seconds. Okay, we're at 9.15 on the time. Let's step up here and see what our bucket looks like. Okay, maybe four inches or so from the top. Definitely moving along here. Just hit 12 minutes. It looks like the bucket's getting pretty close to full up here. Let's see what we got. Yeah, what's that, about an inch? Not too bad. Okay, our time is 13.45. So our time hit 13.45 on the second test and 14.45 on the first. I think I know what happened to cause a one minute difference between the uh, top and bottom. So I had a uh, more consistent time keeping the bucket full on the second test, um, but I always kept it within this range here. Uh, on that scale. So 
uh, that's one thing that I think was improved on the second test. Also, the first test stopped twice. The second test stopped once. Whenever I would uh, turn on the water, it would shoot some bubbles down in here and it got into the pipe, I think, and stopped it. Um, or it was just turbulence in general. And the third thing I noticed is that when the delivery pipe was up and over, it had an extra, oh, two or three inches of uh, loop up there that caused it to have to raise even higher than the level of the bucket. So the, uh, the test had three issues, I think, that caused one minute difference in uh, fill time. But I think if you calculated the three things to be as if they were in the second test, you would have had the same time of about uh, 1345. Uh, so, uh, when I was called out, I was thinking, man, it's, it's just not true. Um, if you fill from the bottom or the top, it's the same. Uh, and I think this test shows that that is true. Um, and even those little factors, like a couple inches there, the pump stopping once, and I have to run up to it and start it again. And then, uh, this is probably the biggest issue, is even that three or four inches difference there um, at the right time could be uh, the difference between uh, a good bit of lift potential. You know, two, three feet difference just on that couple of inches. So, uh, I think we can go ahead and put this one to rest, that it is the same. Uh, no matter if it's filled from the bottom or from the top. And uh, whenever I had my storage tanks built up here, I piped up from the bottom. I got so many comments saying, you can't do that. It defies the laws of gravity and physics. <laughs> well, it's pretty simple. Um, no matter the size of your storage tank, as long as it um, has air access to the top, then it can fill. It just takes a while. Um, so the column of water is the same, uh, no matter the size of the, um, the storage container. Anyway, <laughs> hope you enjoyed this different kind of ram pump video. And uh, remember to subscribe and thumbs up, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.